Sometimes I just get to the point where I just get tired, you know? I am not a great bingo player. Well, I'm on a not very good machine and my internet cannot be upgraded. They say I've got the fastest speed I can now. Mind you, Google just moved to this teeny tiny little town. I don't think Google's putting up with half a meg per second of upload speed. I'm going to drink a soda while I'm doing this, so expect weird noises. So today I went back to something that I was doing. See, this is why I shouldn't watch other people's videos. I get influenced by them. They look at the card and they're all like, Oh, I'm going to go for the whatever row and column or whatever, you know. When they get all tactical and they get all strategic and, oh, and that's what I'm going to go for. And then they run around looking for cows or mushrooms or rabbits for three hours because there aren't any on the card. Yeah. Well, I've done it too. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else because I certainly am not. And of course, I don't need a rabbit, so this rabbit is totally like under my feet. So, I don't know why I got in the water. The minute I did it, I said, I was just slowing myself down. Whatever. So, uh, anyway, I just, today I just said, I'm going to go back to the way I was doing it, which is, I mean, I see some things that look like they're doable, like the middle row, okay? Or, uh, even kind of the middle column, but then there's that, what do you call it, that emerald? Or, no, I mean the middle row, or the middle column, the middle column. It's the middle row that has the emerald, yeah. Or the one below that with the, um, but that one's got a saddle and a minecart chest. And you see, so you can drive yourself crazy doing this. Like the bottom row looks like, oh yeah, but diamond, you know. So you can drive yourself crazy trying to figure out the strategy of what you're going to do. I came over here. I saw a deposit of coal. I said, I'm just going to see what happens, you know. I'm going to dig down, get to a level where there's stuff. And then I'll just fill her back up if I need other stuff on the surface. I didn't even take food this time. I don't think. If I did, it's accidental food. Oh, well, I've got that apple. But there's not an apple in the card, so I could eat that one, yeah. But I wasn't going to run around all over the surface and drive myself nuts. Besides, if I die, this hole is right here, you know. I don't know how to get back down in it. I guess I could dig out and make, like, water. Then I thought about doing this, doing the poke holes, to look for stuff like, you know, like iron and, you know, whatever. And then I just said, no, 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 no. If there's... Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm in extreme hills. That's right. I don't know how I killed that silverfish. I, I hit it with a... Who's it? With a pickaxe. It shouldn't have died, right? But it deaded. But then I got paid back for it. Ah, they're all over in here. Uh, so I just said to heck with it. We'll just. And then I dug down and I went, oh yeah, I should put a torch here because something could spawn. Um, so, ow, I'm moving and things are ow, you know. So I just got mad and said, I'm going to go down to a level where I can actually do something and find stuff because. Other people do this, and they find abandoned mine thingies and uh, dungeons. And see, I put two torches, so I know my way back up. Yep, I did. That's one of those dead ends. That's not a dead end, but you know what? I found so much stuff. I didn't even need to pursue dead ends that aren't dead ends. Mm -mm. There's lots of iron here, and lots of coal, and lots of lots of you know. So I didn't even. Um, I mean, I would have if I needed to. That's why I left it lit, lit up instead of letting cooties spawn in it. Because I figured, well, I can always come back here if I, you know, wash out and dead end. Did I see that, where that extra iron was in that hole? Yes, I did. I just wanted to get some started. So today I just did, and then there's gravel. And you know, you know me and gravel. Me and gravel and me and bait ores. I don't even remember what level I'm at right now. I'm not really very low. But I hit a cave and I needed iron, so, you know, um, 
and lovers and cooties and things and try not to get killed. So this is not really a strategy, but I did better in this one than I have done. I got a much better time than I've been getting. So I'm not disappointed with the way things turned out. I'm also, that last round taught me that making an iron pickaxe is not stupid at all. Look. <gasps> ya buddy. So I guess this is not a stupid strategy. Eh? Eh? What's in here? I didn't even bother to look. I like, oh, hi. I got whacked a couple of times. It's mean they can get you through the holes, isn't it? Not like you're sticking anything through the hole at you, but... Oh, well, zombies can do that, too. Hello, hello, goodbye, goodbye. So, I mean, I got a dungeon here to play with. I've got plenty of coal. I've got iron. I can stay busy for a little while, and then when I need to, I can go down deeper for other stuff. I still don't know what row or column or diagonal or whatever I'm doing. I'm just gathering junk. I see there's a lot of iron on the card. There's hoppers and mine carts and railroad stuff and even a bucket. And I just figured, just start smelting stuff, you know? I made way more furnaces than I need. That's okay. But look what I did. Uh-huh. So I'm thinking the whole using iron to do stuff with, you know, for tools and even armor and stuff and weapons. That's not a dumb plan. It seems like it is. Oh, well, I only need 16 iron to make a this and a that and the other thing. And I'm like, okay, but, you know, if you just make sure you have iron so you have tools available, and so maybe you're not quite so squishy. I'm not saying you have to make armor necessarily, but just so you're not quite so squishy. So you have good tools and a decent sword and... You know, I still have a stone sword, but you get my point, right? And now I've got a bucket of lava, so I can really hurt things if I need to. I'm also getting smarter about smelting the little bitty guys. See, I try to take saplings and stuff with me so I can burn little quantities of junk. Um, I don't think I have any, no. But sometimes I do. Uh, and also I've learned that it's actually worth it to do a little bit of inventory maintenance. Look at all that horse armor. Holy guacamole. Who's ever going to have that many horses? I mean, I realize this stuff is randomized, but who's ever really going to have all those horses? Fishing pole just in case. I don't know what I'm going to do, but heck, I've got string and I've got sticks and, you know, I just figure better prepared than not, I guess. This is one of those Swiss cheese caves. I wish I could play it for real. The seed, because look at it. Oh my gosh. These are the kinds of caves I really like, because wherever you go, there's something. You know, it's not a bottomed out cave. I mean, I can imagine a cave like this would be really, really scary if you're playing um, ultra hardcore. Because there's cooties popping out everywhere. But And look how deep it goes. And look! Yay! So all those silver fish popping me in the nose. It was actually worth it. Hmm? So I just kept digging. I figure, whatever. I mean, gee whiz, look at all the iron. So, uh, again, I'm not, you know, like, superwoman. I didn't do it faster than anybody or anything like that. And frankly, I wasn't even really trying. I was just trying to be competent. The ability to handle my tools and um, build tools and use furnaces and stuff is improving. So I'm getting a little more competent at that. I just wanted to see what I had. See, I've got all kinds of options. Um, and so it's going a little bit more smoothly, not way smoothly. I still fumble a lot. Those signs are going to come in so handy in a little while. I was so lucky. I was going to stop and make ladders. I had to go underwater. And I had uh, signs, and I'm like, yay, air blocks, you know? So the, I'm glad I didn't throw out the signs. I'm, if I ever have to make signs again, I'm going to keep them too. I was. I was going to stop and make ladders. And they went, oh yeah, it's nice. So here we go with the making stuff. And now what? Look at that card. I've almost blacked out the dang thingamajig. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make a lot of extra stuff just because. Just for fun. 
so I guess I'm done down here. But I am pleased that I'm... I'm not doing great, but I'm doing a lot better than I have done. Also, I'm getting better at editing these videos. It's going a lot faster. I know how to make the transparencies and how to double speed. And The first one of these at double speed that I ever made, and that was without a transparency of the map, of the bingo map, that one took me all day to do because I had to learn how to do stuff. But now I can whip them together in just a few minutes. It, the hardest part, of course, is the rendering and then narrating them and then um, re-rendering them after I get them all put together and stuff. But it's going well, I hope. And they're not boring. I don't... Now here, there, I hear it. Hear him? And I want an ender person because I want an ender pearl. And I did kind of fumble around here because they're right under me in the water. And I don't have hardly any food. And I need to go down there, but I need to make air blocks. And I put that down so that I could smelt my iron and kill chickens for food because I was... Look how hungry I am. I haven't lost much health, but look how hungry I am. So I just want to make sure that if I'm going to go down there with all them cooties, that I had some food. See what I'm saying? And then I was going to make ladders. And then I saw the sign. I almost made bread, and then I thought, well, what if... Don't dungeons sometimes have cocoa beans in them? I don't know. I've never seen one on the bingo map. Ever, ever, ever. I, but I swear, Dungeons is supposed to... It used to be the only place you could get cocoa beans was, I think, in Dungeons. Or was it Stronghold? No, I think it was Dungeons. But now... I don't know. I've never seen one in a bingo map. That's for sure. Look at that. Look at that! I'm so glad I followed the sound. And there's my guy. I'm really low on health, but... I was whacking that, that ender guy so hard, he didn't have a chance to even hurt. You know what I mean? The only thing was there were way so many spiders in here, and I didn't put a torch down fast enough. They kept spawning and stuff, but that was the only thing. I wish I had put stuff in there, uh, light in there faster to keep them from spawning. I didn't get anything out of the chest that I really needed. And it looks like pretty much all that I need to get the center, either the center row or the center column, pretty much is an Inca Saka. That's all that I need. Uh, my rail. Now I'm just making stuff because I can make stuff. Whee! So I didn't end up with the center one. I ended up with the second center one. I'm just catching this fish because I can catch fish. I don't care. So, that's my time is not bad for me. It's definitely, it's under 25 minutes, and for me, that's pretty darn good. I also got hung up on, I wanted to get, what did I want to get? Oh, this I'm doing because I'm curious, because I never do this after the after I'm done playing. I never check out what else is down there, even though I was really curious about it, and I'm like, I want to go see. So, I just did this for fun. So, under 25 minutes is a pretty good time for me. So, I'm starting to get better at it. Yeah, that's a dungeon. Oh, uh, and I don't have any torches, don't have any coal. So, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna steal a torch in one place to light up another place. So, I was there, I just couldn't see it. Yay. They really want a piece of me, don't they? Glad I made that chicken. So let's just go see what's in there, just because why not go see what's in there, right? Nothing particularly useful, but what the heck. So there we go. Um, no. I didn't do that on purpose. I've got my keys set so they keep functioning, and it was it kept digging after it was done. Oh, one person always makes a sacrifice to Brian. So, here's a really good book with sharpness and a bunch of other junk on it. Brian, you can have that. So, welcome to Minecraft Bingo, Minecraft, at Minecraft Bingo on Twitter. There's me, Jamie. 
Uh, Joy, I'm making a sacrifice of horse armor to me, but it all came back to me. Haha. Uh -huh. And now, because I have so much horse armor. I'm celebrating. I had a good time. I mean, I had a good time, and it was a good time. For me, by my standards, it was a good time. Watch this brat. Look at this. All this sugar. I love pintos. Pintos are my, one of my favorite horses. They really are. They're so cute. And there's a lot of them out here, you know, in Mexico. A lot of them. So, I have a horse now, and it has armor. And... This one's up here doing disco on Brian's head, and there's another one doing disco on Brian's head. So, you have horses on your head, Mr. Brian. Okay, so that's Minecraft Bingo by Dr. Brian Morgan 111. Um, thank you very much for watching. Remember, I hug you, but my arms don't bend. You need a horse? You need a horse? I got your horse right here. Bye. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adopt. Get it!